hey there everyone welcome back to this channel if you are new to this channel subscribe because i share everything about web development in this video we are going to talk about visual studio code the installation part of it all right so without wasting our time let's start first of all when we download any software we need to know why this software even if we, if we have so many different options available freely first of all vs code is a free open source code editor developed by microsoft and it's known for its simplicity speed and a wide range of extensions that make it suitable for various programming languages including html css and javascript and many more other languages available so let's start the downloading part so let's start the downloading part First of all, open any browser and we will need to write VS Code Download. Click on the first link code.visualstudio.com. Okay, so it is available on all the platforms Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Choose your operating system. This is Windows. So I'm choosing the Windows person. Yeah, actually I had um, VS Code installed in my PC, but I know you guys are beginners, so I am, I uninstalled it to make you understand from scratch. Alright, so it is downloading. I will come back once it, it gets downloaded. <laughs> As you can see, the it is now downloaded. Click on the click on this. And it will open a prompt. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see the first interface of this prompt, click I accept the agreement and the next and this will be default click next okay the names will be visual studio code and yeah create a desktop icon a to path register code okay check this next install so as you can see it is now installing Okay, the installation is complete. Now finish it. All right, after the installation, you will see you will see the VS Code icon on your desktop. Click to open it. So it will show you this interface. Here you will find different tabs like your folder, search, git control, run and debugging and their extensions so in this video we are setting up this for our html course so we should install some extensions or extensions search here live server yeah i click on the first icon and as you can see i've already installed it you should you should see install option here and then install it let's create a new html file right okay select as you can see i created i trust the author new file index.html yeah and it has a great feature shift plus one it will show this exclamation mark and if you hit enter it will provide you the boiler code all right our first html program and you click here h1 and all right we will start with hello world 
okay as i make install live server the advantage of this is you can see this live here you will find go live option click on this and you will see the live has started and as you make changes on this it will load air automatically for example hello world i am i am a boat yeah as you can see it is now reloading it live <laughs> Dance the dance, 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 dance the